Well, hey everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a follow-up video with a little more information about this guitar. This is a 2004 Epiphone SG. They call it. They just. It just says. Uh, what does it say? It says SG model special. So it's an SG special. Um, it was made in China. I've had three of these. Three of the Bolton SGs. One I got uh, was probably 2010 and I just had it for a little while, never played it much and then got rid of it. I bought a 2014 new at Guitar Center for $169 I think. And the quality of the construction on that guitar, the neck, the neck pocket, the body, the finish, everything on that guitar was outstanding. That was an Indonesian made one, or maybe Korea. I can't remember and unfortunately it's gone now so I don't have any way to reference what it was. But I was kind of surprised that uh, the ones that they sell now come with a wrap tail piece which is okay on certain guitars but I wanted this one with a uh, stop bar and, and uh, bridge. So I, that's why I ended up getting uh, an older one. This has some good features and some really bad things about it. And it's kind of a crapshoot with these Epiphones. My TV Yellow Les Paul Special 1 P90, out of the box used, plays like a dream. Somebody may have done some work on it. They didn't change out any of the parts, and it doesn't look like it was ever played. But it was really good. The black one I got was, a, there were a lot of problems with it. And this one has some problems. And what they are is, I did the sound demo on it, and the pickups are so muddy. And so, I don't know, I just can't, there's just no good sound that you can really get out of them. I tried to play them clean, I tried to play them with a little distortion. They make the reverb on my amp um, echo even more, because I, I try and, I, I like a little bit of reverb. People would probably say maybe too much, but this thing sounded horrible. It sounded like you're in an echo chamber because the pickups were so muddy. I adjusted them, the height, to make sure that they were closer to the strings to take out some of the muddiness. They're just terrible pickups. The internal parts, so my goal was I was going to play it as is and just get used to it and struggle along with it for fun, but I just, I can't take these pickups. So I do have a set of Alnico 5 nickel plate covered pickups that I'm going to put in here. I was going to swap out the pots for CTS and put a orange drop capacitor in, but I think I'm going to leave the pots. The, everything seems to work fine. The switch was um, it was corroded and I had to clean the contacts on it, but now that I did it works fine. The output jack, I have a, uh, um, oh, I can't remember the name, the good output jacks that I put on everything, Switchcraft. I have a Switchcraft that I'm probably going to put in here because this thing's rusted so badly I'm afraid that when I go to unscrew the nut, to get it off, it's going to damage. Uh, the only way I can do that is to hold the back of it with a pair of pliers or something, and it's probably going to damage it because it's so badly rusted on there. So I figure I'll put a new output jack on. The tuners are horrible. They are the same tuners that were on that um, black Les Paul Special 1 P90. They're I just don't, I can't imagine how you can make such crappy tuners because I put a $10 set of tuners on that was far superior to the ones that were on there. And that's probably what I'll put on here. Just a, another relatively inexpensive set because there are these enclosed back tuners that have the pattern on them. And it's hard to get other, other tuners that don't leave holes. So if you just step up a, a grade or two to the same style of tuner, but a at a, at a better cost, at a more of a cost, um, they should be fine. So those are all the bad things and the things that I have to replace. The bridge actually came off the, and the stop bar came off and went on and I was able to make adjustments. I still have to do an intonation adjustment on, on a couple of strings. But otherwise, all of that hardware was, was pretty good, at, again, compared to the Black Les Paul Special where it just fell apart in my hands. The, Things about this 
the other thing about this guitar that I really like is the neck. The neck profile is a very slim, traditional SG style profile. The frets are beautiful. I love them. They're not as tall as, say, these uh, vintage frets on, on this Telecaster, which is fine with me. I can play almost at zero frets. I, I, I like them that well. But the fret ends are nice. The, it's a rosewood uh, fingerboard. So it's not Indian Laurel, which is nice. It feels really nice in the hand. The guitar doesn't have neck dive. It's well weighted. The strap buttons may contribute to that, although this is pretty much where, actually I think on one of my other SGs, it's up here and that does cause a little bit of a problem. But this guitar, is, it's, worth, it's worth saving for having $100 in it at this point and putting a set of pickups i don't remember what i paid my buddy for those pickups but i know they were they're uh hand wound by somebody that he knows that builds pickups they were pretty expensive when he got them but he wanted some seymour duncans i think is what he put in the les paul that they came out of and so he sold them to me dirt cheap and they're really nice pickups i, I actually bought two sets from him and i put one set in the other uh, SG bolt-on that I had. And I don't know why I ever sold that guitar. It was kind of like uh, going through and getting rid of stuff because I just didn't know if I'd have enough space to store it. That was one of the guitars I really didn't want to sell. And I think this one will end up being as nice as that one when I'm done with it because it just feels so good in the hand. That's That, to me, is, is a huge part of why I like certain guitars. I'm sitting here looking right now. Looks like the nut needs to be replaced as well. This, the, the low E string is sitting on top of the nut. I mean, it plays well and the, and the string height is good, but if I were to cut it down to drop the string into the nut a little further, the string height would be off. So I'm probably gonna have to take that nut off and make another one. I have a bunch of nut blanks so I can do that with. But when I'm done, I think this is gonna be a really nice guitar. So anyways, that's the follow-up. Uh, I'll have, I think, maybe 175 bucks in it when it's done. And it'll be a daily player just like my other one was. So um, it'll just be sitting around when I have company and people want to play. We've got family coming for Thanksgiving and a couple people in the family play guitar. So it should be fun to let them, you know, sit around and jam with all these guitars that are out right now, which are basically, you know, I, I wouldn't call them throwaways, but... Uh, I don't have a lot in them, and they're just fun to have around. So, anyways, hope you all have a great day.